Okay, so today we're going to start a little project. Uh, as everybody knows, uh, we're a very small farm and we are just starting out uh, with uh, YouTube. We've noticed uh, quite a trend uh, with people starting out money-wise is the merchandise. So for the last couple of years I've been piddling, so to speak, with uh, screen printing my own shirts. So I figured this would be something that everybody would benefit from just a little bit. And my place is full of other projects that I'm doing. So we're fixing to go and invade Big Daddy's man cave. He's, he's absolutely going to love this. He thinks I'm messy and I am. Okay, before we get into actually doing the screen printing, I'm going to go over the screens real quick. You can make the screens yourself or you can buy them professionally. If you make them yourself, it's just a box with a sheer curtain over it or pre-made professionally right here. I would highly suggest no matter what you do, either paint them or wrap them in duct tape uh, so that the water doesn't get into the wood. If you decide to go the duct ta tape route, be sure to get it really good uh, stuck to the wood or else you're going to run into getting water under the wood and it will actually rot the screens. So, Either way you want to do it is fine. Okay, I uh, pre-mixed the emulsion already. Uh, that's a fairly simple process. It comes in a kit. Uh, it comes with emulsion and sensitizer. Just mix it up according to the bottle. Stir it up really good. Once it's mixed, you can store it in the refrigerator. It says for up to six months. I have never had it last that long. It's still decent, but the exposure times and whatnot vary once it's been left in the refrigerator too long. So, we're just going to stir this up real good, and we are going to emulsion these three screens. Okay, so you take your trusty butter knife, and you just start kind of pouring the emulsion all over the screen. Okay. And you take your squeegee, and you just want to cover the entire surface area here with the emulsion get as close to the edges as you can or the board whatever So I was sitting here editing this video and realized that we forgot to tell you about when you use, when you make your design and you print it out, make sure you use a laser printer. Uh, inkjet, the ink doesn't doesn't dry on this on this plastic stuff. So make your design, print it out with a laser printer. It tends to do better. Okay, so we have it and we are about 
to take my sister's toothbrush and we're about to just rub over it very gently and run water over it and hope that the design comes out. You can see it has come through and all we do now is just wait for it to dry so it can go on the shirt. Okay, our screens are done. This one here, the one that we made, is actually going to be a sleeve screen. They'll be closer together. We're going to write it down the sleeve of a long sleeve t-shirt. Alright, and I told you earlier about how the emulsion doesn't always go around. It doesn't get quite up to the edges, so we're going to fix that real quick. This one's worse. You can see it better all the way around it, and this is out, so we're going to fix that with duct tape. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this, and I'm going to try to find roughly where the emulsion stops, because I don't want the paint to push through. something to run down the sleeves. Now as you can see, I'm real fancy here. This is an egg carton that I cut and this here is foam board. You can get this at any school supply store. It's going to be over there with the poster board and stuff. It's just a little bit thicker. I've got bigger pieces here that I use for the actual t-shirts and stuff and I just cut them in half or to size, about the size of the screen, it just needs to hold the shirt in place. Okay, and shirts. Uh, I try to score my shirts in the off season when they go on sale, but even when they're not on sale, they're not overly expensive. We're gonna hope these fit down into these sleeves. So you'll just run this down there. I'm only going to do two today at a time. I have done up to 47 at one time using one screen, but that was uh, the shirts were all the exact same color and the paint was the exact same. But on these shirts, I'll have to change colors. And once you change colors, you have to wash your screens. Just kind of get it flat and use the seam on the shoulder if you're doing the shoulder and if you are going to do the back or the front usually your tags are going to be right dead center sometimes i don't know if any of these screens have them but i'll mark there's a little mark right there for the last screen that i made that's the dead center of the actual print so then then you can line up this line to the tag lines Put your trusty butter knife Always stir this paint up, especially if you do a lot of shirts and have a lot of it, because it will get kind of separated. Always blob a lot of paint on here, just so that I make sure I have enough, because y'all already know I'm going to save as much of it as I can. And your squeegee. 
you're just gonna hold the screen and push the paint down. Okay. I come at it from all sides and make sure I glob the paint on it. products that you'll need we will link in the description and I think I'm fixing to call this one done one more quick pass and pull the shirt up or not pull the shirt pull the screen and hold the shirt down and there we go now it has to be heat set. I like to let them air dry for a little while before I put heat to it. As you can see, it kind of makes a mess and I don't want to mess up the paint. So it has dried in the air for a little while. And I just put set the tea cloth over it. And then I use just a regular iron, no steam. In fact, this iron has not had water in it in a very, very long time. And I put it on a cotton setting and we're just going to run some heat over it. Generally, up until this point, if you mess the screen up uh, or the paint transfer up, you can rinse these out depending on the color paint you use and the color shirt that you use. But I'm just going to go ahead and rock this on. Put the, this down so the paint doesn't get on the iron. And I'm just applying a little bit of pressure and letting the heat go through because this next screen is probably going to end up on top of the other paint. So I just want this to be set before I move on. So it should be good. Uh, sometimes Some people will set these in the oven to let them dry. I don't. I have set them out in the sun, in the heat of the summer, and let them dry that way. But at the end of the day, you're still going to want to add the iron to it. Okay. So. This shouldn't come off in the washer. Now we'll do this black one. you have already done one screen you just got to be mindful of how you do it so I'm fixing to introduce something never seen before the other towel this is my favorite dish towel hey I'm just kidding this is one that I don't mind getting paint on obviously so what we're gonna do is look at the spacing on this one and you should be able to see you see how you can see through there so what we're going to do is try to get that lined up just so-so. And I think, let me scoot it down just a little bit. Okay, once again, lots of paint. I'm actually kind of nervous about this one. This, this is a reused screen and you can see the other writing on there. I'm kind of scared that perhaps all the emulsion didn't take. We'll see, hopefully it did. Hold it down. I'm going 
going to gently pull this up and see what happened. I'm going to hold the shirt down. Looks pretty decent, huh? Okay, so now this is where the other towel comes into it because I'm going to have to shift this pretty regularly to get it set right on the next shirt. I'm going to take this towel. It is clean. It's just stained up. And I'm going to wipe the bottom of it so that any paint that came through isn't there. If you do more than probably five or six shirts at one time, you're going to want to do this anyway. After about five or six uh, screens, you're going to want to go ahead and wash it or wipe, not wash it, wipe it off because paint will start pushing through after about five, six shirts. I'm doing this one like this just because I'm going to have to shift it around a little bit. And then what I'll do is my hand doesn't have much paint on it, so I'm going to run my hand down there. And I feel pretty confident I can set this one down now. Don't forget to hit us with a like, subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks.